Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, where people have been asking me to do a review on this hat since they saw our video on our Yellowstone vacation where I was wearing my Clint Eastwood outfit up in the mountains when we were horseback riding. People have been asking me about this hat all the time. So finally, finally, we are doing a review on this hat. This is the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly hat made by Nudson Hat Company. That's K-N-U-D-S-E-N. -E Nudson Hats. This is the exact same hat that Adam Savage wears on Mythbusters. Or war on Mythbusters. I guess the show is no longer on. But, yeah. Uh, in fact, that's how I found this hat. I was like, you know, that hat that Adam wears is a really, really good Clint Eastwood replica. I wonder who makes that. So I started doing some research and found it. Nudson Hat Company. It was not cheap. This is their 100X beaver hat, which is basically as good as you can possibly get. Uh, for those of you that have watched the Mythbusters show, especially that episode where Adam and Jamie are trying to uh, prove whether Jack and Rose could both stay on the, the, the door at the end of Titanic, Adam wears this hat while him and Jamie are floundering around in the water. So this hat can take an amazing amount of punishment. He wore that sh that hat on that show for years and years and years, and it looked great all the time. So anyway, this is it. Um, when I bought it, I've had it now for several years, but when I bought it, it was a hair over 400 bucks, I think. I'm guessing it's probably closer to six at this point. There is no pricing on their website. You actually have to contact them to see uh, about pricing and exactly what you want and all those things. So anyway, let's go into some details here. Um, the leather band, first of all, um, the etching, as you can see here on the leather band, not quite right. Um, it's not exact to what Clint wore in the Man With No Name Spaghetti Westerns. However, it is very, very close. 99.9% .9 of the people that you meet out there will not even know the difference, so who really cares? Uh, the second thing is it has a bound edge. If you look very closely here, it's got a very, very small bound edge on it. And most people actually miss that when they watch the films. I don't think it was even noticeable until the Blu-ray versions came out and you could get a better look at the finer details of the hat. But yes, Clint Eastwood's hat does have a bound edge, and so does this one. The lining on the inside is very, very nice. Um, you can see here the stitching The stitching on it is impeccable. Very, very good. And as you can see here, we've got the uh, million gazillion X's here for the 10X beaver felt. Now, obviously, if you want a, you know, I think they have also a, a, just a regular beaver or a 5X beaver or some other things like that. Shan Shan showing me her hat here, which is 50X. And this was also a really nice hat for less money that we actually got at a local Western show. But anyway, that's not what we're doing here on the review. So anyway, here's the Nudson Hat uh, logo here. So you know how to spell it, and uh, you know what to look for. Uh, this is the 7 and a quarter. Uh, I actually generally wear 7 and 3 eighths. This hat fits me very, very well. Um, probably not quite so well that I've grown my hair out because now my the diameter of my head is is bigger. But if you get it wet and then put it on, it will basically mold itself to the shape of your head, which is really, really cool. Um, I have done a little bit of shaping on this. If you look at it from the front, Clint's kind of has that... Uh, like the, the hat isn't quite symmetrical, like it, it turns up a little bit on this side over here, on the brim, just like mine does. When I got the hat, um, it was not shaped like this. Both sides of the brim were, or the, yeah, the, the both sides of the brim were turned up um, very drastically, and that's not what you see on screen. When I got this hat, I was actually a little unhappy with it and almost sold it. But after having it for a while and shaping it to the way that I want it and um, getting some wear and tear on it, um, I'm actually really, really happy with it and have no plans on, on getting another Clint Eastwood hat anytime soon. 
for those of you that uh, want to see my, my full outfit, you can watch our trip to Yellowstone video. I mean, we'll have a picture of me on the, uh, the cover image, for those of you who want to look that up. But anyway, um, that's basically it for my, my review here. You can see the pinch on it is also correct, and the bash up top is, actually, is also correct. And it's got a little bit of flexibility here. Not a lot, but some. Um, it's definitely not a screen captor penman. The brim is quite a bit stiffer. Still not as stiff as, you know, cheaper cheap hats or anything. Oh, yeah. Well, it's that's because nice. this wasn't a cheap hat. Yeah, it's, it's nice. But anyway, um, this thing beads water like you've never seen. Better than a screen capped, better than a penman. I can't believe how water resistant this hat is. So, uh, we're going to show you. Okay, so here we are at the kitchen sink. Um, normally, the only time I ever drench my hats like this is if I need to reshape the crown or the brim or something like that. But this one, well, I'll just show you because there's really no way to explain it. Look at the water just bead off of this thing. I have never seen anything like it. And I mean, for those of you that watch this channel, I go on a lot of adventures and I expect my hats to be able to, to keep up with some action, some abuse, whatever. Um, this hat, and look at that. That's unbelievable. The way it just gets rid of the water. It still blows me away every time I see it. So yeah, you can you can soak this hat in water all day long, and it can take it. Which is why Adam had no problem jumping into the water wearing his hat on Mythbusters, because it's just... It is superior to any other hat I have ever seen, and it's not even close when it comes to, to getting rid of water. I've never seen anything like it before or since. Oh, I absolutely love this hat. So, I mean, are there spendier hats out there? Yeah. Um, Penman's top-of-the-line hats now are going for probably somewhere around $650, 7 um, screen capped hats are still pretty pretty um, competitive. They're going for around 375 right now. This is being filmed in May of 2022, by the way. So, is this one of the the higher end hats as, as far as price goes? Yeah, I'm guessing this hat right now is probably going to run you somewhere around six or 650. But if you are a fan of the Clint Eastwood Spaghetti Westerns and you want to get yourself a man with no name hat, I honestly would not recommend buying it anywhere else. Um, the hat is absolutely incredible, and I love it. Let's see if it still fits. Well, kinda. I've gotten a lot of hair since the last time I wore this hat. Can I take the ponytail out? the ponytail down a little bit here. So, yeah, it still fits me pretty good. And that's another thing. When you, I mean, this is seven and a quarter. I'm seven and three eighths, and I'm probably getting closer to seven and a half with how long my hair is. And all I got to do is get it wet, and it just kind of forms to your head. And now that I've worked with the brim a little bit, that was one thing. Since this, this thing repels water like nobody's business, getting it wet enough where you could actually shape it took quite a bit of work. Um, I had to like set books on it and scrunch it up against the wall and do some other things to like get the brim to shape the way I wanted it to because it just wouldn't take water. And in order to shape a hat, you either got to steam the heck out of it or use hot water on it. So that part was a bit of a pain. And like I said, I, I was so frustrated with that that I almost got rid of it. But if, you, if you're patient and stick with it, you can get it to shape the way that you want it to. It's just going to take a lot more work than it will for an average hat. But 
totally worth the trade-off. Now that it's got, now that I've got the shape that I want, it's like never going to leave that shape. So anyway, super de duper awesome hat. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this on my channel, but uh, <laughs> I hope it was worth the wait for people that are looking to get one of these. So thanks for watching and have a good day.